Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as Portugal. So today, as usual, I'll start by answering some comments, or this time it's just one comment, and maybe answering is not the best word here, because it wasn't really a question, it was more like an expression of an opinion, so I will, like, say what I think about the idea that the comment was trying to express. So, uh, what was the comment saying? Um, it was quite long, but it's short. It said that if I stick to the plan that I talked about at the end of the previous episode, this game doesn't feel like a diplomatic game anymore, it's just a domination game in disguise. And, well, it's true. Uh, but then I'll ask you, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to play in a way that's most likely going to bring us victory? Or do you want me to stick to the original plan no matter what? Uh, and I should also say that the original plan like, uh, by that I mean a diplomatic game as Portugal, diplomatic victory as Portugal. I made that plan before I knew anything about the game. I didn't even know the map I'm gonna be playing on, uh, I didn't know uh, the saves that I'm gonna be playing against, I didn't know how the game is gonna develop, I didn't know that uh, the developer is going to change the game in the way it changed and make it, like... 50% more difficult. So, uh, how do I say this? I've been playing Vox Populi for a very long time. I did my first series in like 2017 and since then I made, I don't know how many, but one series takes like less than two months, so you can do the math. Sometimes I've been doing two series at the same time uh, and I've been playing also off camera, so it's a lot of experience. And thanks to the experience, I at this point can like predict how a game is going to... Uh, develop. At certain stage of the game, I can just tell you what's gonna happen step by step until the end and how I'm gonna get the victory in the end. So, uh, when I play and when I see the game develop, when I see more of the map, when I see how the AIs are developing, I am adjusting my original plan to the new information that I gain. And I'm like creating a plan that will bring me a victory in the end. At this stage of the game, I can tell you with like almost hundred percent certainty that I now know how to how I win the game, and that I will get the win in the end. Um, so what we can do is say that if I follow the plan that I talked about at the end of the previous episode that this game is a win, and it's just a domination win. So, that we basically agree that this game can be won in a domination way. I can just stop halfway when all the dangerous saves are uh, vassalized or destroyed and just finish it as uh, diplomatic, but it's still a domination game. I agree with that statement. Uh, and if we just agree on this, then I could try something else that is most likely gonna end up with a loss but it's gonna be an attempt on a more diplomatic game so i will record this episode as if we agree that this game has been won as domination and we will continue as the diplomatic game that I don't know how is going to develop really. I have an idea and the idea ends with us losing. But I will try to change the outcome somehow. I'm not saying that this is going to be a game without wars. I can't win this game with no wars. I didn't get enough room to expand early, and my economy is not strong enough un unless I conquer more territory. So I have to go 
for some expansion. But it's not going to be like vassalizing everyone who is a threat on the map. That's going to be the difference. So the plan is going to change to us taking Edinburgh. I'm taking the city because... <clears throat> Borica has no role to play in this game. She has one city in Renaissance era. She is, I don't know how far behind, 24. She is 12 tags behind the leader. She doesn't have anything. And this is a territory. This is a city that's going to improve our like production potential a lot. This is just a resource sitting here that I'm taking. It's basically similar to like having a luxury next to your city and you just don't buy the tile. That's like the the role that Bodica has in this game at this point. Um, it's, a, it's a resource that I just have to use. The only thing that Bodica could potentially do in this game is at some point bribe someone to declare on us. Well, I'm not gonna let her do that. Um, so we're gonna add Edinburgh to our cities. With that, and there is also another reason why I want to fight her. That will uh draw Assyria into a war. We are not gonna attack Assyria. We're just gonna like defend as he sends most likely some of his caravels, maybe some corvettes and frigates if he gets the upgrades in time. We're just gonna wait him out. Uh, once he's willing to peace out, we are going to declare on uh, Polynesia. And after we declare on Polynesia, we peace out with Assyria, so Assyria will stay untouched. But I still need to get rid of Polynesia. Uh, if I leave other saves untouched, it's even more important that I get rid of Polynesia because I can't like compete with all the saves while I also have to compete with Polynesia for my win condition. I'll never be strong enough for that. And I also need more territory, so it's another reason to go after Polynesia. And when Polynesia is under control, then we just stop fighting, at least we stop fighting offensive wars, and try to go pure diplomatic. I can't adjust the plan to this, like, extent. And I think this should feel still like a diplomatic game, even though there will be some, uh, some wars, but, well, at this point, I probably could quote uh, Karl von Clausewitz and say that war is a continuation of politics uh, by other means, right? It's just war sometimes is a part of the diplomacy. You just sometimes can't do anything else. And this is the case. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, just let me know in comments what you think about this. And if you agree, we'll continue with let's say this timeline if not if you want if most of you would just say now let's just go for the most um, uh, optimal game i can scrap this episode and uh, play once again from this save file in a different way uh, that's the advantage that we have that we can return in time and do a different thing if we don't like like one time one timeline or one universe we can just create another one so yeah that's my answer um i'm actually looking forward to your comments on this uh, also what i actually like to hear is how you're gonna answer my claim that the game is won at this stage because well, sometimes it, um, or, well, not sometimes, um, it may not seem that way. So I'm actually curious to see if you're going to trust me that this game is in the bag at this stage. <laughs> but trust me, it is. So, yeah. Um, let's start playing. Enough talking. Oh, one more thing, maybe. Uh, and that's, it was a part of the comment. I was saying that I am not, like, prioritizing um, tags or, in general, all the things that focus on diplomacy. 
Civil Service has envoys, and it's the only tag that I don't have in medieval era. Banking, is it banking? No, uh, it's printing press, right? I mean, printing, yeah, printing press. Uh, another tag that helps diplomacy, and again, I'm delaying it a lot. I'm first going for uh, a military tag. I'm still gonna do this, no matter which plan we're going to follow. If I say that I'm going for a diplomatic game, it doesn't mean that automatically anything that has something to do with diplomacy will be a priority. When have you? Uh, when have I used an emissary for the uh, like the last time? 100, 200 turns ago, something like that. Why would I prioritize an envoy that I'm not gonna use? Um, globe theater, not globe theater. Um, printing press. What does it do? Give me, gives me a civil servant. Yes, uh, that is quite important. And gives my diplomatic units literacy promotion. Also increases the production of my diplomatic units. I don't have time to produce diplomatic units at this point. Uh, I could maybe use another quote here. It's uh, uh, who actually started with this. I think the idea comes from like Plato. Uh, and that's uh, Civis Park and Parabellum. If you want peace, prepare for war. And that's again, that fits on almost any civilization game. If you don't prepare for war enough, those your neighbors are going to take advantage of you and they will attack you. So the game doesn't give me a choice here. I have to be strong enough so that I know that the AIs are going to be afraid of me. They won't declare war and I'll be able to focus on peaceful things. First, I have to be prepared for the war so that I can focus on the on, on peace. So that's why I'm prioritizing these tags. If I don't do that, I'm gonna lose like even faster. One of the saves is just gonna destroy me. So uh, there's some things that I can't avoid that I have to do just to survive in the game. It has nothing to do with my plan for how I want to play. That's just the mechanics of how the game works. It's forcing me to do some things. Okay. Uh, and once again, I spend like 20 minutes talking. Oh well. Let's play like a turn or two that feels like... Um, a gameplay series. So what are we gonna do now? We still have some time before we get navigation. We are not gonna start anything until we get there. So for now, we just want to use all the charges of on our nows. Um, uh, yeah, I can. No, I can't. Oh, did I? I probably already used all the charges on this one. Okay. I thought that uh, this one still had one charge left. Mm, there is a merchant. I wonder what I'm gonna do with him. Didn't expect to get a merchant in this game. I'm not sure what I want to do. Let's explore as much as possible. We are getting gold for that. Uh, that's gonna be Victoria. That's another now that we just got, I think. And we are sending all of them to Sofia, I think, to unload the cargo. Okay, replacement spy recruited. We probably don't want to go to China anymore. Let's check the potential of all cities. Uh, and it's horrible. It is really bad. Um, hmm. I could try to go to Shanghai. Maybe China is not defending 
all its cities. It's very unlikely that it's defending more than one city. I also need to send one spy back home. Yeah, one of, one of these two gets level 3. Hopefully it's going to be after the next rigging. We're going to send one of them back to protect Lisbon. Um, hmm. Okay, this is not going to be a Fatorio. Uh, so do we send him here or do we use him for a trade mission? That would be we love the King Day in all cities. But I think we already have that. It would just... Increase the duration. I'm gonna have more like scientists, engineers, that are probably more important. No, I think I don't need a town. So I just want to go to the closest city and get the gold. Yep, no more charges left here. So what do I have to do now? I have to... Um, send those nows here. That's gonna be... The area where we create the defensive fleet against uh, Assyria. Still not sure if I want to go trade confederacy now. It's a lot of influence, but now when we start declaring wars, I can't really safely send uh, trade routes to city states that are farther away. So maybe I'll go shadow networks first, and I'll do like shadow networks. Then I have to go trade confederacy because I want uh, exchange markets before uh, consulates. Or do I? I probably do because for now there isn't much in the World Congress that I need to uh, need to pass. So extra delegates at this point don't really help me too much. But let's take Shadow Networks first. I probably want to get extra trade routes before I really can take advantage of trade confederacy. We are at 142 science and 188 culture. Okay, that was a lot. Seven isn't too bad, but the problem is um, it's a golden age, so these numbers are gonna change. I think I 
I want to lock the library. Or no, it would slow down the growth, so let's wait. Now we get amphitheaters. Next. Open borders. No, 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 no. Not with you. Globe is gone. Don't care about you. Who got globe? China, of course. Yeah. I still think that in the end I will have to at least attack Ch China to slow her down and weaken her because if I don't and even if she somehow doesn't get into position where she can get the culture victory what's the biggest weakness of diplomatic victory is that the AIs can just conquer city states and you are, just, you are screwed that's something they're not directly attacking you right they declare on you but they never attack you they just take away what you need for your victory condition and you're just screwed so attacking china and crippling china might be the only way to prevent that unfortunately Six. Do we get one more ship? Let's get one more ship. I'm not gonna pay for it. What am I missing? Uh, not that much anymore. Next. Look out their spies. Two turns, nine turns. It's not bad. No one has navigation still. Someone has acoustics. Gonna invest uh, into civil service a little bit because I think I'll be able to steal chemistry. At least I hope I'll be able to steal chemistry. Uh, that's what two turns. Yeah, in worst case scenario, I'll waste two turns.
Antwerp. Mercantile, hostile, nothing super important. Just checking how many cities China has. This is a Chinese city, basically. At some point, she's gonna take it. Next. Okay, let's enhance religion. A boat of peace is one option, but I don't think I'll be able to really spread my religion to too many city states. I don't think I can find a special of it. China when it comes to religion so there would be a few city states where I would have 35 starting influence but it doesn't really mean anything Inquisition well Inquisition is always an option but it's not great sacred calendar Yeah, it's during the Golden Age, so... Not great either. I think it's gonna be symbolism. Still thinking about a boat of peace because of the 20% reward. It's, that's also 20% influence from uh, city state quests. Uh, well, that's something because we already have some bonuses for that. So this could be like 20 extra influence from every quest, sometimes even more. That's basically all that we would get. What the hell? There is still thrift synagogue, mo uh, synagogues, mosques, and mandirs? At this point, we can really just decide, take whatever we want, and we don't have to look on the AIs because 
everyone already enhanced. So it's not like we have to take something away from the AIs. We can just take what really is the best for us. I think it's going to be Mondays again, not because of the food itself, but because it prevents the assassinations. It's so strong. Yeah, I think these two would be my choices, but I think I'm going to make a cut here. This is probably going to be a quite a short episode uh, because of what I said from the start. If uh, we're going to change our mind and uh, just go for the most optimal uh, play instead of uh, this uh, more focused diplomatic attempt. I don't want to replay too much. So... Actually, at this point, I probably won't have to replay anything, because at this point I'm still playing uh, the same way. The difference is gonna be when we start fighting. I actually like to get synagogues that I think I want the production, but uh, Monday side is too strong. Uh, I'll just enhance, I'll take these two. I'm gonna be playing for a bit longer. Yes. So, what we need now is to get our Monday ears everywhere as soon as possible. if I should lock the chancer as well. I don't want to keep 1400 gold when there is no defense in our capital. But I think I have to because I'm gonna need the money to upgrade our ships. And we should get the uh, navigation quite soon, especially if we steal chemistry. Remember, we are getting a scientist in three.
Text. Oh, hey. Okay. Is he gonna declare? Uh, I don't like this. That was a great diplomat. Really? You don't have chemistry? I knew that there was a small chance that this would happen. I just didn't want to believe it. Lost strategic monopoly on iron? Really? I had strategic monopoly on iron? I didn't even know. Construction project from Zanzibar. Okay, we are working on that, so it's gonna be a nice production boost for our capital. Uh, let's see. Customs house. Don't even have a temple. Let's get a temple. Um, This is what I want to see. Damn, I wasted so much time. Next.
want to lock another specialist. That would just be right there is. Maybe I should unlock this then. It's not such a great time. It's gonna save us five turns on the right there. At this point, I may use writer for culture, not for a great work. Again, that was the great diplomat. Oh, it's only 59 points, we can take that back. Okay, let's reveal as much territory as possible. Uh, I think I should check what's going on here. Why there are these units? Most feels like Assyria might be trying something. Now, the scientist, 2,000 points. That's attack and a bit. Ooh. How many social policies are we missing? One. I mean, I could try to wait 13 turns. It's probably gonna be less than 13. And then get the Leaning Tower with the Great Engineer. I would probably get the Great Diplomat. And the 25% bonus is actually massive. It might be worth it. I still don't think that we'll get it. China is probably working on it. But it's worth a try. If we didn't have the engineer, I wouldn't. Uh, but with the, the engineer... We, I mean, worst case scenario, we are delaying... We are delaying a manufacturer by... A few turns doesn't really matter. Prioritize circuses that's gonna speed up the social policy. We'll finish these two uh, after the temple here. We get another circus. I already have circus in the capital. Hmm. Okay.
next. Did he just... <laughs> well, this is the reason why I need to get rid of Polynesia. This might be the last city-state. And it's a friendly culture, it's uh, where they ally. I want to get stuck in here. Silver from China, crap to China. Not sure that I want to sell her a luxury. Is there anyone else who'd be interested? Monty, how much would you pay? Yeah, this is much better. This is, I don't mind giving her 6 gold. I don't want to give her the extra happiness from a luxury. China is uh, working on Summer Palace. That means. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. I might actually get the Leaning Tower. lock more specialists now because uh, once we get the um, uh, Mandiers it's gonna compensate for the lost food. Next.
Okay, what's this cargo ship doing? Feeding Porto. I think Porto still needs that food. That's fine. Once we are done with the, all the buildings in our capital, I'll just switch to envoys and then we're gonna switch those states back. Maybe I should just buy an envoy now. I have the money. I want Kabul back. If I don't get it back, it's gonna declare on us. When we declare on on um, Borica, next. Can I buy... Hmm. I think if I could buy another one which I could but I'm not sure that I want to I may have to I may have to flip Bogota next Oh, wow. How did we get this? How the hell did we get the third promotion? It has to be the, the one of the last nows that I got that started already with Dreadnought 2 when we constructed it. Actually, get more money here than I would get here. Someone stole education. Okay, that was either Bodica or Russia. I don't think that. Monty is that far behind. 
That was probably Russia. So, what do we do with the general? For now, I guess we just keep him. We may need to build some forts, like here maybe. How long until we get a Victoria? Syria managed to get the Summer Palace, so he managed to beat China to it. How much money do we have? 4,000? I think I still want to pay for a customs house. I want to pay for a university.
Okay, 300. Hmm, we have... I think just enough for the upgrades. Well, actually, we are, I think, missing some money because we also need to upgrade uh, Galeasses. Once more, I think when this is done, we'll get rid of the caravan and we'll start trading with city-states because by the time we should have... Oh, actually, no, we already get trade confederacy. Uh... Hmm, research. We could go rifling. Don't get anything interesting there, but we enter industrial era. Probably should go economics railroads because that's two extra trade routes. Yeah, I need as many trade routes as possible. Economics first, the railroads, and maybe if you get lucky, you'll be able to steal something along the way. Um, but most likely, we'll just steal banking. Actually, no. I think I will have banking before the next action that's in seven turns. And I think... That I should get two Terrans worth of science. Yeah. Maybe if you get lucky, you might be able to steal economics. Oh, that's a huge overkill. I'll have to decide where I built East India Company. Can't believe I managed to get Leaning Tower. Okay, let's just uh, wait. I'm gonna make a cut on this turn, uh, but we can still do a few things. I, for example, want to know how many ships we can now upgrade. Uh, 
Oh, that's too far. Damn it. Here. It's gonna take a while for the rest to go or to return home. Which means I probably have the money to pay for a building now. So this is like, I think, five turns. Here we have 122. Uh, let's get the printing press. Then we get... And voice. I want to flip Bogota. Fortunately, I won't be able to do anything about Brussels. Okay, so what do we, or who do we get as a great person? I think it's gonna be a diplomat. I'm just checking if there's anything else that would make sense. I mean, profit would be an option because I think if I get a profit and uh, use them on four city states, that would give me enough followers to reform. We have what? We have three votes. Polynesia has five. Um, if I wanted to reform, I still need 4%. Yeah, I think going with a great profit would allow us to reform. Just flip these four. Column of ones are religion even. It's actually an interesting choice that we have to make. Well, let's talk about the in comments. And. Um, also, let me know which way do we go. Uh, up until now, I didn't have to m decide. Uh, until this turn, no matter which way we go, I would play the same way. But now it's the time to decide. Do we go for that, I'd almost say easy win, and just basically go domination, or... Do we try the diplomacy? <laughs> Less domination. Mm, just checking if there is anything else that we could do before we end this episode, but I don't think so. Oh, why the hell is it 41 turns now to get the social policy? It's probably the golden age difference. That's a huge, that's like what, 20, not 20, 14 turns difference? Thanks to the golden age, holy crap. Oh well, there's not much I can do about it. Uh, so yeah, we are done with this episode. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're gonna join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.